Anti-Afro Spengalis. Hopefully you're not driving during this video. But if you are, just make sure you got your seatbelt on. And just keep your distance when you're driving behind other cars. Because this is a distraction. And I encourage you to listen very carefully to what you're going to hear. It is truly, truly remarkable. This is Dempsey, D. Durrell, the Medicare defrauder, Dempsey Spears. Here's an alert. I did remove all of the names except for my name and Rev G's. I did that for a specific reason. I'm going to explain that in the commentary. But for now, don't touch that dial after you hear fire beware. Getting a child in the face. And, and you're doing this, and that's wrong, that's wrong. You got to protect the children. I'm like, stop. Man, you will never be cool. You, you call my wife outside of her motherfucking name. We ain't got shit to say to each other ever again. And the same for any other motherfucker that disrespect my motherfucking wife. You know what the fuck wrong with y'all? This ain't playing. Jumping out the motherfucking window, talking about my motherfucking family like you losing your goddamn mind. And I'ma be in Vegas next fucking month, nigga, or early. That same shit you said on your channel, nigga. Let's see if you say that shit to my motherfucking face. Cause I will be in Vegas. Niggas up here, man. Up there talking fly by the mouth and shit, saying all kind of dumb shit over some motherfucking shit that ain't even motherfucking true. Over a goddamn motherfucking report that didn't prove a goddamn thing. Y'all motherfuckers think y'all can say anything and motherfuckers just have a short-ass memory. I don't have no motherfucking short-ass memory. I remember shit. Because I know for damn well none of you motherfuckers would say that shit to my face. My face. Because as soon as you say one motherfucking word, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to knock your motherfucking ass out right in your motherfucking face. Before you even get the words out. Talking all that shit on a goddamn platform. I would never fix myself to, to, to disrespect somebody fucking wife. The fuck I look like doing that? Disrespect to some people I don't even fucking know. Just all on, all just saying all kinds of shit. Motherfuckers talking all greasy. Don't know a motherfucking thing. Motherfuckers looking up people's shit. Want to know everybody motherfucking life. Ooh, 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 did the real did this. Ooh, 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 did the real. Then motherfuckers want to have a, have a short ass memory about some motherfucking shit. All that shit that motherfucking woman has done, nobody want to call her out on a motherfucking thing as soon as somebody else say some shit. The motherfucker who get docked is... You, you going to demonize the motherfucker who get docked. That's how backwards you motherfuckers are. The, the, the audacity of these motherfuckers, man. The audacity. These motherfuckers, man. Everybody got a motherfucking opinion about nothing. Some fucking shit that didn't happen the way it happened, the way they claim it happened... Over 17 motherfucking years ago. And these motherfuckers got selective outrage. And you motherfuckers then caught all kind of ass whoopings. With motherfucking switches and belts. Motherfucking extension cards. And all kind of other motherfucking shit. But you want to paint a motherfucking picture. Like the way you motherfuckers are doing. Up here yelling and rounding. Up there watching every everywhere I go in the mother. He in the motherfucking manosphere. He been in the manosphere forever. He did this. And he did that. Going up there fucking with some motherfucking Taz. Y'all the only motherfucking goofy ass motherfuckers who who fucking uh gave any credence to that bullshit that 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 he did. Everybody else saw that shit and they said, man, fuck Taz. Nobody ain't listening to that bullshit that Taz talk about. No, but not you motherfuckers. Y'all all in the motherfucking chat. Lost her motherfucking children. Can barely take care of the ones that she got, but wanna tell my motherfucking wife how to be a motherfucking mother. Can't stand that somebody is speaking different and I'm supporting the motherfuckers. Because that's what I do, nigga. I got the pockets. Who you fucking support? Y'all niggas ain't supporting shit. Y'all broke motherfuckers don't even want to give somebody $2, $5. The nigga show, you know, show some favor to somebody. Man, look at that, man. He he dropped $500 on Man, that's a goddamn shame. I ain't done content in that motherfucking sector in over a fucking month. That niggas want to sit there talking about how I ran. Because I because you acting like I'm entitled to tell you motherfuckers about my private life. The fuck out of here. 
fuck wrong with y'all? Telling you a motherfucking thing. I ain't obligated to do a goddamn thing. Mrs. Bennett, there's something you have to understand. I want you to go now. I will. But I have to explain something. In your place, I might do exactly what you're doing. I probably would. I suppose anybody would. But whether you believe Amelia or not, it has got to be reported. You see, it is the law. Get out. Get out of my house. Get out! Get out! You can't have the right to do this! We do. Mrs. Bennett, we really do. It's the policy of the juvenile authorities. What policy? To remove the child from the home just as soon as it's feasibly possible. What? To deny the perpetrator further access to the child just as soon as it's feasibly possible. That woman had no right to call the police. This is our private business. Mrs. Bennett, an incident of suspected child abuse is subject to criminal charges. <laughs> criminal charges aren't somebody's private business. Now, ma'am, we understand how you feel. Believe me, we do. But we have to go by the book. It's on. not true. Don't you understand that? She's lying. I can protect my own child. Uh, ma'am. No, you can't. Ma'am, uh, I think you're making a terrible situation even worse. Now, right now, you're fooling around with the charge of obstructing justice. Is that what you want? Suppose she did just make the whole thing up. Suppose she's not telling the truth, like you say. Why don't we just have a little talk with her right here? And then, the, ba the bad thing about it, it's the motherfuckers who got record criminal up and fucking down. The fuck wrong with you? Y'all niggas losing y'all goddamn mind. Damn, man. Didn't even expect to do this shit. I'm not about to be fucking with you niggas. Who talk greasy about me and my motherfucking family. Niggas, fuck you for life. Fuck you for life. That's how I feel about it. I'm tired of every time this say something. Put something on a fucking video you niggas believe in. Knowing this motherfucker has lied for fucking ever. These niggas, man. I'm like, these motherfuckers. I'm not playing. This shit is not entertainment, man. Y'all make shit where it's not entertainment no more. This is serious shit. When you motherfuckers sitting here up there pulling criminal reports and shit, shit that, that was, was unfounded in the court of law, you, you got summaries of shit and you up there passing on like, my wife got felonies and all that shit. Just all this shit ain't real. Like, just all kinds of... These motherfuckers, man, the reason why I left, man, is because, it's because, which is what I already know, um, no matter what you say, man, and how much, whenever this woman puts some shit out, these, all the shit that she said about Umar that wasn't true, all the stuff she said about me and everybody else, she'll put some shit out and they still gonna believe the shit. And these motherfuckers be believing the bullshit that she's saying that ain't true. I'm like, look, I don't have time to be dealing with... She say some shit, then you looking at me to say some shit back in return. I'm not going back and forth with Andrew Michelle Stewart. I'm not going back with Rev G with that whack ass music. I'm not going back and forth with them. Man, I'm I'm tired of it's been you've been there since the beginning. It's been it's like five fucking years, man. It's 2023, man. This shit been going on since 2018. Uh, I, I, mean, I am enough, man. Man, that, man, let me say this. She will never do that, and they would never challenge her to do that. Man, really be honest with you, man, the, that sector would be so much better if they quit mentioning her and and quit giving her views, quit supporting her. Because that's the, really be honest, she lost so much support. They could go ahead and put her ass in the dirt by not mentioning her and not watching her videos. But motherfuckers still jump. If she say some shit that they think is is hot and, and, and emotional evoking, oh, oh my God. She, I'm like, man, these niggas just, man, I, I was just like, damn, like, I'm not about to be doing this shit. You no, know, oh boy, so was lost because the truth came out that his wife abused their children. I mean, look at, he don't know what to do. He has no idea how to fight back, but how you gonna fight back when you, you already been knocked out. So he's just punch drunk. He just swinging. He. He's still trying to put in his mouthpiece. But the referee already counted him out a long time ago. Yeah, Dempsey laying on the ground trying to put his mouthpiece on. Anytime you got somebody complaining about you doxing their wife and then they dox their own damn wife, that's when you know, well, I, well, what's going on here? Man, look at this shit. The real, you dumbass Negro. 
That's why I'm sitting here laughing at your dumb ass. Pay another 500, you dummy. You the dumbest nigga on YouTube. The real, you getting every fucking thing you goddamn deserve. That's why I'm putting the pressure on you and saying, hey, you must be AFW. Because you, you don't say too much of shit when they really come at you. But see, now we know why. Because they had all that motherfucking information on you. <laughs> you. You don't say too much of shit when they really come at you. But see, now we know why. Because they had all that motherfucking information on you. So you getting what the fuck you deserve. Point blank. Your wife was abusing kids. And y'all was using my page, using my life to hide a bunch of y'all fuck shit. You try to blame me for that shit, Darrell? And now we see where all that shit came from. They had your number the whole motherfucking time. Instead of you addressing that shit like a man, you now got to pay almost a thousand dollars to get to address and you still can't address because you want to have a show out of it for what a show out of what fast nigga your wife did what she did that's why you didn't want to have that conversation at night yeah you didn't want to have that conversation about her because you already knew what it was from the get-go so you were trying to play smoke the whole motherfucking time but smoke knew what it was we could have been dropped this information on you dog that's when you know oh boy so is lost because the truth came out that his wife abused their children. These motherfuckers be so hurt about them doing something to a motherfucker and then the shit happened to them and now they hurt because they real shit done come out. You know what I mean? Don't be hurt now. You wasn't hurt when the motherfucker, you was putting motherfucking people shit out and putting money out to do it. You know what I mean? It was all laughs and kiki ha ha. When I was telling y'all that shit ain't no joke, man. That shit ain't to be played with. You know what I mean? Y'all want to keep playing with people because it's cold. It was COVID then. You were bored. You ain't had nothing to do. It's no longer that. You know, you play with the wrong motherfucker now. You might get a ring at your doorbell, bro. It's that simple. It's that simple these days, man. It's that simple these days, man. People talk about calling jobs. Y'all did that to me. I lost it. I lost the contract fucking with you people. Oh, that already happened to me. I lost a lot of money. Oh, yeah. Fucking with the wrong nigga. A slimy nigga. If you fighting your own demons, nigga, you can't fuck with me. I'm a different kind of monster. A double-minded thinker will never be stable, man. You can't have a, you can't be a double-minded thinker, bro. You got to stand on something. You got to have some type of principles, man. If you never stood on nothing, don't think you can come in the game now and stand on something. You a fraud. You've been a fraud all your life. And it's been a lot of that going on on here. And we know it, but we've been just riding with it because we may like, dislike. Some of us fuck with niggas that we really don't like just because we really, really don't like another motherfucker. And at the end of the day, you might don't, you don't know that motherfucker, man. You know what I mean? Because I'll make you guilty by association in real life. You know what I mean? That's what I do. Complacent in that bullshit. And now you want to cry about it? Don't cry to me. Don't cry to me. And don't blame me for nothing. Because anything I ever did maliciously on here, I told you I was coming to do it. And I don't give a fuck how you felt about it. Because you're not going to do nothing about it. Because most of you niggas on here are nothing but talk. No action. Y'all not coming outside. Y'all talk that shit. Or y'all might talk that shit to another motherfucker. But y'all niggas know damn well. In 2023, when niggas is outside, y'all niggas ain't coming outside. And y'all niggas scared to death because I am definitely outside again. And don't blame me for nothing because anything I ever did maliciously on here, I told you I was coming to do it. And I don't give a fuck how you felt about it because you're not going to do nothing about it because most of you niggas on here are nothing but talk. No action. Y'all not coming outside. Y'all talk that shit or y'all might talk that shit to another motherfucker, but y'all niggas know damn well in 2023, when niggas is outside, y'all niggas ain't coming outside. And y'all niggas scared to death because I am definitely outside again. I'm running around again, bro. I'm making things happen again, bro. Things are back to normal in this motherfucking world.